Hi, I'm Charles Stewart, Jr. I'm going to show you how to convert a WMA file to an MP3 file. Um, the reason you'd want to do this is uh, WMA is more focused towards Windows and uh, players like the Zune. Uh, granted, there are other players out there that do support that, but if you have an iPod, which a lot of America does, uh, you're going to need something other than a WMA to play on that. Uh, so a good thing to do is to transcode it into an MP3 format because MP3 is pretty much universal with any player. Um, so obviously since we're talking about iPods, I'm going to use iTunes as an example because iTunes is a free download. So uh, first you'll want to open up iTunes and uh, go into um, your preferences. Uh, it's you know pretty easy to find if you go up there. And uh, go to advanced and go to import. Um, now you can set how whenever a, a, you, know, you put in a music CD or you drop in a file, it, you can have it so it automatically transcodes it to uh, whatever format you want. Um, I like using MP3 because that way I know I can pretty much take that file and go anywhere with it. Uh, so I'm going to do MP3 encoder and then you can choose the quality. I'm going to keep it at 160 kilobits and I just hit OK. Uh, so now I've got my file on my desktop and I'm just going to drag it over here to, the, uh, to my music library. And when I drop it in, it's going to ask me, do you want to convert this WMA file to an MP3 file? And I'm going to hit yes. So let's convert it. And what it's going to do, it's going to start converting that file. And uh, when it's finished, you'll have a uh, converted um, MP3 file from a WMA. And that's it.